a parent's worst nightmare. Mom and dad tuck their six-year-old girl Isabella into bed, settle into bed themselves. Next morning, daddy checks on her 8 a.m. Isabel gone. In the last hours, cops remove fabric and pillows from a red hatchback parked at the family home as crime scene tape goes back up yet again at the missing girl's home. We are live and taking your calls. A lot of new evidence, a lot of new clues we've uncovered overnight. We learned for one thing, mom left that morning around 7.30 a.m. ish. We learned she did not check Isabel's room before she left. That was a big question. We narrow down the timeline, learning that Isabel was spotted Friday evening at a late Little League game. So, therefore, it's not a question of who else saw Isabel on Friday or was she at school. We know she was alive and well Friday night, bolstering the family's story. We are taking your calls out to Paul Birmingham News Director, KNST, joining me there in Tucson. Paul, what do you know? Well, these new developments, very interesting to say the least. At least two technicians, these appear to be crime scene technicians, removing these items from a red hatchback that is parked on the driveway of the Salas' home. Now, this car, we are told by Tucson police, does not drive. It's not drivable. It's not operational. Un unclear exactly when it was used last. We're seeing fabric removed. We're also seeing what appear to be pillows removed by these individuals who, again, appear to be evidence technicians. Again, another ominous sign, this crime scene tape going up around the Celis' home. It had been removed for some time. It is back up. Also, a warrant which had been issued has been refreshed. Those are police's words. Essentially, what that means is that allowed the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit to go in and get a first-hand look at the crime scene so that they could bring their specialized skills and training to bear on that crime scene and see exactly what the perpetrator or what the family may have seen at that time. So, long story short, the crime scene tape is back up around the home. Gene Casares, legal correspondent, in session. That could mean a number of things. As I reiterated last night, Gene Casares, not only uh, a correspondent, but also a lawyer as well. Gene, a, a search warrant does not mean you've got a revolving door like Walmart 24-7. You can just walk in whenever you feel like it. Cops went back to get a warrant. They brought in a shrink an FBI behavioral analyst, analyst. Why? Don't know. But that is not a, 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 an ominous sign pointing to the family, as many people think it is, that they got another search warrant. You can't just walk in and out the front door whenever you feel like it because you had a search warrant a week ago. It doesn't work that way, Jean. No, it doesn't. And if this case gets to trial, they've got to mind their P's and Q's. They have to procedurally do it correctly so any evidence they collect can be presented for a jury. But the, the searching of the home has gone to this car, Nancy, that's on the property. It's a red hatchback car. What I find interesting is, yes, they took carpeting, they took pillows. It doesn't sound like they took all the carpeting, though, Nancy. They took some of the carpeting. So what did that carpeting show? What did a presumptive test show of that carpeting? And most importantly, the car doesn't drive. So that car was parked there, regardless of whatever time an intruder may or may not have entered the home. Now, that takes some chutzpah to walk up to a house where you see a car parked in the driveway and go in and nab somebody.